Our next competitor is number 285. And the title of the program, Travel Advisory. Flashing to the wind like weapons. Sharks following the moans. The fever. The dying. Middle passage. Voyage through death. To life upon these shores. Freedom, freedom, I can't move. Freedom, cut me loose. It was a big day when Daddy drove up in our very own automobile. A 1952 Buick. Ooh, it was the most beautiful color. <laughs> Daddy calls it. See, Miss Green, green automobile, green book. Mama says that the green book is the Bible of every Negro traveler. You didn't dare leave home without it. Anyway, Daddy bought the automobile for his new job, but we plan to go visit Grandma. Hello, ma'am. This is the Texas Highway Patrol. And the reason for your stop is because you failed to signal a lane change. How long you been in Texas? You got your driver's license. Where are you headed to now? Well, you seem irritated. I am irritated, officer. I really am. I feel like it's crap what I'm getting a ticket for. I was getting out of your way. You were speeding up telling me, and so I move over and you stop me, so yeah. I'm a little irritated. But that doesn't stop you from giving me a ticket the next day. Well, as we loaded the car, I, well, I heard Mama warn Daddy about what was up ahead. Someone called Jim Crow, and that our trip would be dangerous. With the poetry, Middle Passage by Robert Hayden, Riot by Gwendolyn Brooks, We March With You by Sarah Cress, the prose Ruth and the Green Book by Alexander Calvin and Gwen Strauss, and the articles. White Woman Calls 911 by Carla Herrera. Three Black People Checked Out of Their Airbnb by Doug Chris and Amir Vera. Flying While Black by Keo Morgan Smith. The Transcripts of Sandra Bland's Arrest by Ryan Grimm. The Green Book by Evan Andrews. And lyrics from the article Freedom by Beyonce by Jason Ravander. From being brought to America to living in it, Historically and presently, it has been shown that black people are not welcome in white spaces. For black America, this is travel advisory, a program. Because if black people cannot go through white spaces, then where can we go when everywhere is a white space. I pack 
packed my own bag for the trip. Mama even said I could bring brown bear. Ooh, I was just so excited to travel across the country. And I frequently fly <laughs> with Delta. <laughs> and uh, I was waiting in the uh, priority boarding line <laughs> when a white woman told me, excuse me? Yeah, you may be in the wrong place. You need to let us through. This line is for priority boarding. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> I had a boarding pass to prove I was first class, and I showed her as much, but she couldn't seem to believe I was in the right spot. <laughs> Relax, ma'am. I'm in the right spot, been here longer so you can board after me, I told her. <laughs> Well, he must be military or something. But we paid for our seats, so he should still have to wait. Boop, boop! <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just a nigga with money. <laughs> Freedom. Freedom, I can't move. As we drove out of Chicago, well, it felt funny to see the neighborhood disappear, and then the streets and then the buildings. Oh, but I love all the green grass and the hills and the trees. After driving for a long time, we stopped at a gas station manager, called the police on us, after we stopped there to get our children some drinks, after walking a mile during our rally. A few minutes later, a red truck pulls up, and a woman got out yelling, leave now, I'm calling 911. It's like a riot out here. <laughs> you know, why is it that every time we try to do something, Good. They call k k Officer Encina 2547. Send me another unit now. I'm giving you a lawful order to step out of the car. I'm going to drag you out of freedom, freedom. Where are you? I was tired when Daddy stopped the automobile. You know, I asked Mama where we were, and she said, she said, we're going to spend the night at a real hotel. We watched Daddy talking to the man behind the desk, and, and he was smiling and important to us. But, but, but the man shook his head. And about 10 seconds later, we were surrounded uh, by seven cop cars. Uh, uh, during our time in Cali, the four of us stayed at an Airbnb, and at around 11 a.m. we checked out. The officers came out of their car demanding us to put your hands in the air. They locked down the neighborhood and had us standing in the street. Why? Because a neighbor across the street saw three black people loading luggage into their car and assumed we were stealing from the house. You know, I've been angry, frustrated, and sad. The officers admit that the woman's real reason for calling the police was because the man said we couldn't stay. And so we kept driving through the night. And then our automobile broke down the next day in the middle of nowhere. I, I felt empty in the pit of my stomach, so I hugged Brown Bear. And then Daddy walked into town. Why am I being apprehended? You're threatening to drag me out of my own car. Wow, wow. For a failure to signal. You're doing all of this for a failure to signal. My goodness, y'all are interesting. Very interesting. You know, why am I being arrested? Why don't you tell me that part? You were getting a warning until now. You're going to jail because the, 
the Negroes were coming down the street, officer. Well, because they were poor, were sweaty and pretty. They were black and loud and not attainable. And on it drove and breathed on him. In that breath, the fume of, of pigfoot, chitterling, cheap chili. Well, because the Negroes were black, lives matter. We put our feet to cement to make a sound that thuds, shakes the easy from their ease, gives a headache to the powerful, no pill can relieve you. You started creating the problems. Ah, do you have anything on your person that's illegal? I'm gonna move your glasses, come here. Ah, ah, you're about to break my wrist, can you stop? You're about to break my wrist! <laughs> you just slammed my head on the ground. I got epilepsy. You should have thought about that before you started resisting. You're going to jail for freedom, freedom. I can't move. Freedom, cut me loose. <laughs> Freedom, freedom, where are you? <laughs> I break chains all by myself. about our trip. It wasn't what I expected in traveling. Oh, it can be scary, that's for sure. It made me sad that people were so mean to Negroes. But, but there will be a day when the Green Book won't have to be published. And we can go wherever we please without embarrassment. 